With Santa Claus in the area, the athletes we spend so much time enjoying are all home tonight, hoping for a nice haul of gifts tomorrow morning. The rest of the year, they've been working hard to give us another impressive group of stories from the sports world. So tonight, while they wait for Santa, I give you the year in sports. In the year 2012 in the CSRA, sports feats were accomplished almost every day. When the year first got started, basketball was the thing. The Waco girls finished second, but Laney was king. The Wildcats, led by coach Jerry Hunter, gave their fans reason to cheer. They were louder than thunder. On the ice, the Riverhawks were best in the league. Their record was awesome, and they took a trophy. Four months in, and the Masters was here. There wasn't a shot Bubba Watson would fear. The former dog with his Bubba Golf style hit the impossible wedge and made all golf fans smile. Later that month, spring finals came up. Aquinas boys, Westminster girls lifted championship cups. And at Greenbrier, near misses hurt the pack pride. But their soccer and baseball teams gave us a great ride. And they closed with some news that brought down our spirit. Paul Williams, the Punisher, made us sad to hear it. A wreck on his bike took his career. But Paul's bright demeanor calmed some of our fears. To the heat of the summer, the bikes rolled into town. U.S. Cycling's championships shut Augusta down. Just down the road brought the red, white, and blue. And for two local athletes, the U.S. flag flew. Reese Hoffa's goal was an Olympic throne. His shot put flew far in a bronze medal he owned. Also on the track, George Kitchens we'd see, a first-time Olympian and a role model he'd be. A month or so later, Lance Lambach made waves, won gold in the pool at the Paralympics one day. A three-peat was the goal for the Gamecocks baseball. A runner-up finish they brought home from Omaha. It's not a good plan to look over Matt Neesmith. The young golfer brought crowds from all over to see him. The now Gamecock won crown after crown on the greens, barely missed his first cut on the PGA scene. In the fall, if you needed an inspiring sight, Augusta's Iron Man had it from day through the night. From top flight athletes to regular Joes with a goal, they made you rethink, do I need that last roll? It was a runner-up finish for Aiken's volleyball team. Watching them hit was a sight to be seen. To the high school gridiron and the boys of the fall, three teams were victorious to the last spot of the ball. Augusta Christian wanted a title so bad that it ached, and the Lions didn't lose once the championship they'd take. To eight-man football, Wardlaw's Pats wanted more, and back-to-back -back crowns was what was in store. And in Georgia, just one team partied hard in the dome. ECI's Bulldogs won big and took a state title home. In college football, the dogs came just one play away from the championship game. We won't forget that day, one of the best college games that might ever be. Even though they felt short, it was a sight to see. And the season's not done, but watch out for Atlanta. We know what the Falcons are asking from Santa. A first Super Bowl title, the top seeds locked up. In February, we'll know if they had quite enough. So 12 months in the book and more sports stars were made. 2012 was a year we can look back and say there were moments of thrill in the CSRA shine. It was a year that's memories won't be hard to find.